Along come the Kennedys, offering glamour, prestige, and a hearty dose of optimism for the future. John Kennedy and Jackie stood as the symbol of what being in love and being American and being sort of at this new dawn of history was all about. He is the dashing scion of a powerful Massachusetts family. She is a cosmopolitan, college-educated woman from Upper Crust, New York. Together, John and Jackie become the quintessential presidential power couple. They were the definitive ideals of what a classy, chic, sophisticated, smart, well-educated, powerful couple was about. They brought this inherent new type of glamour to the White House that people could really look up to. They were symbolic of a nation in need of role models. And as the country teeters on the brink of a sexual revolution, the Kennedys are leading the way. Both Jack and Jackie Kennedy have this sex appeal. Jack Kennedy is known as the Playboy president. There are rumors of him with Marilyn Monroe and other Hollywood starlets. And people are talking about Jackie having her affairs. Even though we know all these stories, the public has kind of romanticized the Kennedy administration. Jackie maintains an image of effortless perfection, making her one of the White House's first fashion icons. She was in a class of her own. I mean, we're talking about very chic, classic, minimal, modern suits, three-quarter length sleeves with the gloves, which was very daring at the time. She understood the power of the little black dress. She understood the power of a leopard print coat. She did the pillbox hat to perfection. I don't think there's one single fashion person that hasn't said to me, oh, I'm so influenced by Jackie. But at the same time, she never eclipsed who John F. Kennedy was about. JFK and Jackie projected an image of the perfect couple, but we know what lurked beneath was much more complicated.